No, I'm the chef cook. Good, wait till we have it on the food. If you're seeing these, it can only be one of many things. Vietnamese, Chinese, Japanese, or Korean. Hi, I'm Lance Milstead, and this week on Guten Appetit, we're in Seoul. Well, we're in Frankfurt at Seoul. The restaurant is owned by Mr. Lee. He's from Seoul, Korea, and he opened this little slice of Korea in 2001. And when I heard that the Koreans say this food here is just like home, I knew this place was the ticket. That's like snap, crackling, and popping. Since I've been in Germany, I've had a hankering for some good, authentic Korean food. And I think I've found it. This is Dolsud Bibimbap. It's the first thing you're going to make here for us at Seoul. Let's go watch. Dolsud Bibimbap is made in a hot pot with sesame oil, rice, vegetables, beef, and an egg yolk, and this wonderful spicy bean paste called gochujang. Most of the German people can't eat gochujang because it's spicy, so we just give the extra plate putting gochujang in there, and then they can choose the how we make it spicy. As spicy or, as they want it. Yeah. Perfect. Now show me what we what we do next. Yeah. And how you spice like? Put it all in. <laughs> <laughs> it comes to the table sizzling, and you simply stir it up and eat it. It's like cooked in front of you. It keeps cooking. <laughs> All right, let's try this. Mm. It's really good. Uh, the rice has got a little crunch to it. And the gochujang, it's sweet and spicy. It's perfect. This is kimchi. It's got to be one of the most traditional staples of Korean food uh, next to rice. And it's essentially cabbage fermented with a red... What is it fermented with? What goes into the kimchi? It's a, a spicy red pepper paste, right? Yeah. Red peppers? Yeah. Peppers. Mm, that's money. Hello, Seoul restaurant. Uh, no, um, they don't have that on the menu. But you can order it. That's a neat thing about Seoul restaurant. If there's something you'd like, they don't have it on the menu, call them a day ahead of time and you can order it. They do have bulgogi. It's a dish with marinated beef that's just plain fun to eat. This is, I think, a very popular dish for Americans. Would yeah, you agree? Yeah, I think so, I agree. Why do you think that is? Because most of Korean, the most of people think of the Korean people, is, the Korean food is very spicy, but bulgogi is, I think, maybe not only spicy food for, for dinner. Bulgogi is marinated sirloin steak with onions, scallions, mushrooms, and my favorite, chunks of garlic. It's brought to the table raw wow. and prepared right before your eyes. Well, it's cooked. You get to prepare it. Well, the, the meat's done, and, and Mr. Lee's going to show us how to make a sam, which is a wrap. Okay. Take a lettuce. Okay. A couple of lettuce. Yes. A little bit of beef. A couple pieces of meat. Some veggies. You got to have a piece of garlic. And sauce. Gochujang or samjang. <laughs> Samjang, gochujang, and uh, a little bit of rice. And this is our Korean taco. Mmm, 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 mmm. I don't know how much of that I'm gonna get cut into the show, but it's that good. Just a piece of meat with some gochujang. Mm, that's money too. Is this as good as Korean food in Korea? Yeah, that's very <laughs> Yeah, of course. Wow, so we have had bulgogi, we've had some dosud bibimbap, kimchi, the works. And it's all been mashi soyo, which is delicious in Korean. If you'd like more information about the Seoul restaurant in Frankfurt, go to our website, heidelberg.afneurope.net. Until next time, I'm Lance Milstead. Guten Appetit.